Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's talk some mountain weather. We've got a lot of interesting things to talk about with a three storm system cycle here through 331. We've got one big low right now hitting Southern California. It's a powerful low pressure. Um, it's going to produce heavy snow all the way down to like 4,600 feet. Um, so the mountains of Southern California are going to get hit pretty hard. Um, I'll show you what I'm thinking with that coming up. Uh, I've also got bullseyes for snow in Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, northern New Mexico. Have those numbers coming up in the northeast. Some rain on the 23rd, and then the best chances of snow, which actually have trended up. 325, 26, and then again 328 and 329. I also wanted to show you something that I was working on uh, on my Facebook page. Um, so take a look at it, Chris Tomer. Uh, I was talking a bit about the snow in southern Colorado, the San Juan Mountains. The snowpack there is the third um, best on record right now as far as snow water equivalents, SWE as it's called SWE, at 27.6 inches of snow water equivalent, third best only behind 2019 at this point, and of course the max year um, that was back in 1993. But you can see the graph right here. You can see the black line is current and then it's just basically fighting um, 2019 and also the purple top line would be 1993 1995 or 2005 is also an honorable mention with the pink line but very interesting take a look at that on my Facebook page if you haven't seen it all right I did write about a lot of this on my blog this morning christhomer.com snow forecast through 330 also have an update on season snow today take a look at that Brighton is just surging past 700 now Alt is right there at 700, so is Palisades, Kirkwood, Mammoth, they're all going to make it, no question. Um, Wolf Creek's doing well at over 400. Steamboat's not far behind. Uh, and Vail, honorable mention, just cracking 300. But that southern Colorado snowpack, it's not what any, it's not what I expected with the La Nina pattern, triple dip La Nina. Certainly, I mean, this is the kind of snowpack you, you, would, you would expect in a good El Nino year. And the same goes for California. I mean, this is just not what you would expect with the kind of headwinds that we were looking at, especially with preseason coming into this. So it's pretty remarkable. It just goes to show you, these are just general guidelines a lot of the time that anything can happen in the atmosphere. Um, I want to show you, um, so this is the future radar in the satellite. So by Wednesday morning, that low is starting to come out of California, move into the interior with heavy snow. Second low here comes into the Pacific Northwest, starting to spread snow down through the interior. And that continues for a couple of days. There's a Sunday the 26th becomes an Albuquerque low. And then there's another low behind this for 28, 29, and 30. You, just, you can just barely see it. So this is definitely an active pattern. Let me go back in here to the blog. I want to show you the jet. So that's the jet pattern from this morning. Let me show you what it looks like this afternoon. Um, so you've got that extra low. I showed you the two lows on the future radar and satellite. This is what the third one could look like on 330, digging its way through the interior, um, California, working its way into Arizona and New Mexico. So it's an active pattern through 330 and 331. All right, let's go back to the blog here just briefly. I did a breakout for Telluride. Take a look at that. Um, Southern Colorado's in for a lot of snow, including Telluride. There are my forecast totals from this morning. Let me show you my new numbers as far as this afternoon. So the rest of today through the 23rd, uh, notice I put Big Bear, California on this and also Kuchara in Colorado. So you've got a couple of new data points. Look at Big Bear, 19 inches. And again, that's no level. We'll start you know, at a higher level, six mid sixes, but then it will fall into the fours by tonight into tomorrow. So we're going to see some pretty low snow levels in Southern California. Um, let me just take and why look at Alta and, Sn and Snowbird Park City in for another nine to a foot. Um, here's period two, 24 through 30, two additional storm systems, um, another foot for Mammoth, uh, another foot for the Tetons. Look at Big Sky, awesome. Um, Colorado, let me just go back to period one in Colorado. So six to 16 inches more in Southern Colorado. And then we add period two to that, and we're looking at one to three feet of grand total snow, basically two to three feet of grand total snow in Colorado, maybe even four feet down around Wolf Creek. Um, northern New Mexico, you've got one to two feet. I mean, so we're seeing some really nice snow bullseyes with this storm track through 330. 
Um, one more stop in the northeast. These numbers have all trended up um, through 330. Again, most of the snow comes in those two different storm systems, 25, 26, and then 28, 29. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.